Hello, this is Dr. Linda Martinez Louie. I want to speak with you about suffering from severe adrenal fatigue, divorcing a covert narcissist. It would be difficult enough, and I know that it is, to divorce a covert narcissist when on top of this you're suffering from severe adrenal fatigue. This is an incredible challenge. Under most circumstances, when we're under any kind of stress, we know that we can look to our adrenal glands to release specific hormones like cortisol, adrenaline, norep norepinephrine. These hormones are vital in how we react to stress. They increase our stamina, strength, and energy reserves. But when the adrenals are severely depleted, there is an insufficient supply of these hormones and we are exhausted, particularly if we have gone through chronic stress. This is a major contributing factor to adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue uh, progresses. You could have stage one or two. By the time a person gets to stage three, they're exhausted almost all the time. So the adrenals are depleted and cannot produce sufficient hormones like cortisol. And it also affects the neurotransmitters as well. The symptoms vary tremendously with adrenal fatigue. And by the way, I am not a medical practitioner I am an expert, a clinical expert in narcissistic personality and an expert also in childhood trauma. Some of the symptoms, like one of the ones that's very prevalent, is extreme exhaustion. That means even after a full night's sleep, a person with severe adrenal fatigue will wake up exhausted from the night before. I mean, this is so difficult and dreadful. Some people experience dizziness. A lot of people experience insomnia, difficulty falling asleep and staying asleep. There can be a, some loss of muscle tone. There is often a blood sugar issue uh, that occurs where the blood sugar will go down and the person will feel very weak and miserable. There can be low back pain, and weight gain, but the, that there are a variety of symptoms, and symptoms depend on the individual and his or her uh, body chemistry. Now, during this time, of course, you are dealing with the covert narcissist and going through the divorce process. And knowing Sometimes these people appear to have intuition. They certainly know when someone is down and having a very tough time. So they continue to play their very cruel, devious games. If you have children, they often manipulate the children against the other spouse. They talk behind your back and try to spoil and ruin your reputation. And many of them are very secretive, especially about money. I find that they, they spirit money away. They're trying to take it from you before the divorce decree comes through. This happens very often. They pick away at you when you are the most vulnerable emotionally and psychologically. And sometimes even wake you up when you are asleep. They are very unpredictable, and this puts you on edge at all times, which makes the adrenal fatigue even much more difficult to deal with. So I want to talk to you about some of the things you can do to help yourself recover from adrenal fatigue. One of the most important aspects is your diet, what you are eating every single day. And... Um, one of the most important things is that you get enough complete proteins every day. You eat greens that are really good for you, like, well, for example, cruci cruciferous vegetables are excellent. 
broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, spinach, all those vegetables. If you, and they, these foods need to be organic because they're not sprayed and they are, uh, they grow naturally, which is very important. And those who eat meat, um, you, that get the, the, a lot of their protein that way, be sure that it is also organic. Um, chicken, turkey, fish that is very clean from the right oceans. And um, be sure that you don't go uh, drink a lot of caffeine because that's going to deplete your energy reserves even more, our sugars and sweeteners. So the, healing, the other healing foods are uh, coconut, coconut oil, olives, avocados, and some salt, like uh, Himalayan salt can be very good for you as well. So uh, you take a lot of junk out of your diet. You have to do that, especially if you have severe adrenal fatigue. When you are in the throes of this, it's almost like you just don't have any emotional reserves. You can become very distressed very easily. So you want to both work on your diet and your lifestyle. Now, if the adrenal fatigue is severe, you really can't exercise much, nor should you, should you try to. You want to take rests during the day if you can. I call them uh, rests with the parasympathetic calming part of the nervous system. This involves lying down, for certain periods of time, if you can, during the day. That's very important because you want to be in the calming, restorative part of the nervous system because this helps to raise your cortisol, which kind of puts the gas of energy, cortisol, uh, into your tank and replenishes the adrenals. The other thing you want to do is get to bed as early as you can, before t by 10 o'clock if you possibly can, because going to sleep a lot later is going to be, first of all, harder to go to sleep and also harder to stay asleep, and then you haven't gotten enough rest from restorative sleep. So sleep is another factor here. The other factor has to do with the people in your life that are simply too stressful to be around and you want to get those people out of your life if you possibly can and get to know other individuals who are caring and loving and empathic this is very very important as far as divorcing the covert narcissist is concerned um, one of the most important things is picking the right attorney. This is very difficult to do, but absolutely essential. Make sure that this person is your advocate at all times. I run across this just too often where our clients and people who follow me and read my books and this kind of thing, they just don't pick the right attorney and, and uh, these covert narcissists pick barracudas they're going to roll everybody over. This happens too many times to count. So I emphasize that. Know that you are entitled to get through this process, that you are going to heal the adrenal fatigue. It can be healed. I've spoken to a number of people who have been healed from this. Uh, it does take patience. It takes self-love, really to do this. A lot of self-love. The other aspects here are if you are a person that meditates, continue to meditate in, what, in the form that works for you. You can also do, if you have the energy and not depleting yourself, do very simple basic restorative yoga poses that work for you with emphasis on the, the breathing, the very slow breathing that you do when you do this. There are also forms of breathing that are very calming. When you're taking uh, a rest, um, there's, a, there's um, 
in yoga there's a pose called legs up the wall and I don't suggest doing that specifically but there's a position that you can get into if you look up legs up the wall yoga poses for adrenal fatigue if you look that up you'll find legs up the wall there and there's a there should be if you google that you'll see a picture of a young woman doing um, a different version of that with a chair and uh, with her head resting her eyes closed and actually I think she has her eyes um, she has a little uh, eye, eye masks over her eyes uh, it can also be done by putting uh, cushions across um, kind of perpendicular to your sofa and putting your legs and your feet up on the sofa what that does that position is a stable position and it allows the cortisol to come in to the adrenals as you are doing in this kind of resting in whatever way you decide to do it it's absolutely healing and wonderful to listen to beautiful music however you define that for yourself um, putting uh, headphones in your ears so that you feel like you have privacy and listening to really magnificent music none of this sharp type music or loud music or anything that you, that you you know that is going to be disrupted remember this is parasympathetic time that's what this is this is your time to heal so take time each day to do this, this these are specific practices now each person's unique but I have found there's certain kinds of movie soundtracks that I've discovered um, they're the older ones uh, and I'll just tell you a few that I've enjoyed Dances with Wolves uh, and Out of Africa are absolutely gorgeous soundtracks and uh, done by John Barry the English composer another one Trevor Jones uh, composed from the last of the Mohicans uh, there's another from the Souter, the Cider House Rules that was a film and the title uh, song there it's a, not a song it's a it's done orchestrated it's beautiful the composer Maurice Jarre J-A-R-R-E uh, has themes from Dr. Zhivago which are beautiful and you'll, you'll find your way there are other ones too some of the music from Forrest Gump is very beautiful as well now um, I'm not sure that all this music is available on YouTube what I did is I got a um, subscription to Pandora that's free they have free subscriptions but they have um, they have ads on them so I'm not sure that you want to go through that interruption so what I did is I subscribed to um, Pandora I think it's $4.99 a month but if you find that that you know is a problem you can get it through um, just get the regular free subscription the other one I listened to um, recently was um, there's there's a composer called um, Ennio Morricone and he did a beautiful um, soundtrack for a film called Rudy and I believe he did another one called The Mission so just look around and see what you find I mean, you know each person is different it's very personal that helps you the most be sure to put yourself first also be with nature if you're able to do to go outside wherever you are just pay attention in the moment to what you see it can be the smallest little bud it can be a leaf it can be something in the wind it can be the sky at night it can be the moon it can be something reflecting on water that you notice it could be the way that the Sun is starting to you know, has already gone down and you have that beautiful alizarin crimson of the dusk time so this is a period for you to restore to recover and go through a transformation 
You deserve deep inner peace to recover completely the full use of all of your creative gifts and to know that you are precious, you are a very unique and precious individual. You deserve to heal fully and to use, like I said, your creativity. It is unbounded. So, oh, the other point I wanted to make, be sure you hydrate with really good water. You can use coconut water too as a combination. Hydration, restoration, which is the rest, and also mental grounding. So when you're listening to this music or when you're out with nature or if you're able to take a very short walk or very short movements, be aware in the moment of what you're doing and appreciate yourself. Love yourself as you are. Take very good care now. It is essential.